of these sort of really cool little sort of wine bottle holders there. Um, obviously me being 15 means that the wine aspect of it isn't that important to me but just the sort of the woodworking side of it and the fact and how these work is just really sort of intriguing. They're a great conversation piece and just um, really sort of nice thing to have in the house and um, really sort of interest people with the sort of the wow factor when they first see it. So um, the one I'm doing today is this sort of this very simple one but obviously once you learn the uh, technique you can do any sort any number of designs. I've, I've got this really nice sort of piece of spalted wood which um, once finished up with a few coats of lacquer looks absolutely spectacular. Um, so I'm sure there's people who can already say how it works, they've probably already seen it before, but for the people who haven't, um, this is how it works. Okay, so the diagram shows you that the bottle holder stands up due to simple physics. If the base is parallel to the bottle, and the bottle's centre of gravity is in line with the base, the bottle should theoretically stay standing. Okay, so that's the boring stuff out of the way, now we can get on with building it. So I start by measuring out my stock which is roughly 27 centimetres long by 7 centimetres wide. You can obviously vary these depending on the size of your bottle. My stock that I'm using is 1.6 centimetres, but this isn't vital and you can have it thicker which will make it more stable. I now cut these measurements out on the mitre saw. Now that I've cut my stock to size, I tilt the mitre saw to 45 degrees and cut just the very bottom off so that I have a mitered end. You can obviously use a table saw if you feel more comfortable, just make sure that your fingers are well out of the way when you make the cut. Now that I've cut my stock, I measure out for the hole that I'm going to drill. I measure 5cm down from the top and using a square I mark across that line. I next find the centre using the square. This point that I've marked is where the hole is going to start. Over the drill press I have my stock supported by a piece of wood cut to 45 degrees. This gives me the angle of my hole. Um, if your table can tilt, this will be an easier option. I'm using a 32mm bit, which is the ideal size for bottlenecks. This is not going to be a particularly easy cut because not much of the force in the bit is actually in the wood. Also, you're cutting into end grain at some point, so just take matters slowly and don't move your workpiece too much while drilling. Now that I've drilled my hole, I'm sanding all the faces lightly with 150 grit using a palm sander. I then go on to clean up the inside of the hole and soften the edges using some sandpaper. Well I'm just about done now and all that's left is to apply a finish. I'm just using linseed oil for this finish but obviously you could apply a more heavy duty finish if you feel it's necessary. But because this is not going to receive much abuse I thought that an oil finish would be fine. Once this is dry you're ready to use it. To stand the bottle up, just place the neck of the bottle into the hole. There's often a point where the bottle is most stable, so if you can find this point, you can push it round like I'm doing now. Okay, so this is the finished project. Hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'm Alex Harris and thank you for watching the Teen Woodworker.